Asiem, Siem Nisiaia, Siem Nisalquan, Siem Nismatmanam. My traditional name is Tsatsamalt, comes from Stamenas Mestimo, Stamenas people. My name is Luke Marston, I'm a Coast Salish artist. You know, the things that kind of go through my mind as I work on these is what it represents and where it's going to be in the people who are going to see it. What's the message behind it? On the panel is an octopus. It was not only the logo of Ocean Networks Canada, it also means a lot to the First Nations people. An old story that my uh, grandmother had told me, it was my great uncle, and he was walking through the forest and he started to see the maple leaves. It was in the fall time and he started to see the maple leaves were moving. And it looked as if the ground was, was moving and then it was really close to the ocean. And then he realized that it was an octopus that was covered in maple leaves and was moving along through the forest bed. And it really freaked out my uncle at the time. <laughs> I use the moon because it symbolizes the controlling of the ocean, controlling of the tides. Within our own people, the moon is a sacred thing. It's a marking of times, of the passing months, of different cycles of the moon. So it made a lot of sense to be able to have the moon within this panel as well. And then of course the skate at the bottom was something that Ocean Networks Canada had requested because it was something that they have discovered through um, putting their observatories out and they felt was really important to have within the panel. I wanted to really kind of capture the ocean and the way that the tides move, the way that the, the waves move. Our First Nations people have known for the longest time that we should look after what we have and only take what we need. So working with the Ocean Networks Canada was something that I was honored to do.